Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's a little bit different kind of video. We're gonna be looking at the latest Salesforce news that came out on January 5th, 2023. Uh, that Salesforce is laying off 10% of its workforce, which amounts to around 8,000 people. And then I found another interesting article that came out as well. Um, the day of me filming this is January 7th, 2023. And we're just gonna jump right into this. So as some of you may know, Salesforce Corporate announced that it will be laying off 10% of its workforce on Wednesday, January 5th. And kind of digging into this article from Fortune Magazine and the links for these um, articles are in the description of the video. The article starts off here talking about Amazon and Salesforce are the latest two tech companies to announce layoffs. So uh, Amazon said Wednesday that it will be cutting 18,000 positions. It is the uh, largest layoffs that Amazon has ever done, but it is just a fraction of their 1.5 million global workforce. So there is some perspective there. It does go on to say, for Amazon at least, that the layoffs will mostly impact the company's brick and mortar stores, which Amazon Fresh and Amazon Go and PXD organizations will handle human resources and other functions. Now, Salesforce, meanwhile, said it's laying off about 8,000 employees or 10% of its workforce. The cuts announced Wednesday are the largest in company history as well. Digging into some of the details, the Salesforce workers who lost their jobs will receive um, nearly five months of pay with health insurance and career resource and other benefits, according to the company. Uh, it looks like Amazon is offering separation payout, transitional health insurance and benefits as well, according to the article. It goes on to say that as our revenue accelerated through the pandemic, we hired too many people leading into this economic downturn we're now facing. And uh, looks like the CEO took, is taking responsibility for it. So Salesforce employs about 49,000 people uh, in as of June 2020, just before the pandemic struck. But now Salesforce's workforce is 50% larger than it was before the pandemic. So it looks like Salesforce was really hiring on a lot of people. I mean, that is insane growth from January 2020 to now to grow your workforce by 50%. Um, that is a huge growth. They hired a lot of people. The article continues on here with uh, saying that, you know, like other major tech companies, Salesforce recent, recent come down from the days of the pandemic have taken a major toll on its stock. Before Wednesday's announcement, shares plunged more, more than 50% from their peak in November of 2021. The shares nearly gained 4% Wednesday to close at 139.59. Now, another article that I came across is from CNBC, and this was put out Friday, January 6th which was yesterday, and it's saying Salesforce co-CEO Mark Benoff hints at more potential layoffs after this week's job cuts. So I found that extremely interesting. So they announced Wednesday they're cutting 10% of their workforce, and then two days later, on Friday, they're announcing potential more layoffs coming. So the key points from the article here that they have at the top from CNBC is right after Salesforce said it's eliminating 10%, they told employees that more cuts are need to be made, and they said that productivity is lacking from new salespeople, and Salesforce revenue growth is slowing. So it looks like the uh, co-founder and soon solo CEO indicated in an all-hands meeting Thursday that more downsizing could be coming according to people with knowledge of the matter. The virtual meeting came a day after Salesforce announced that it was cutting 10% of jobs amounting to over 7,000 positions, just like we read in the other article from Fortune Magazine. And the article kind of recaps everything that was laid out in the original article from a couple of days ago, but it really is just talking about the meeting notes that were released saying the company may have more layoffs in the future. So it looks like at Salesforce corporate, there's a lot going on. Uh, my two cents about it is it looks like Salesforce com coming into the pandemic and through the pandemic overhired, was trying to get as much talent as they could by growing their workforce 50% from the beginning of the pandemic. And now looks like as we're coming into some tough times, Salesforce is having to thin out the ranks, unfortunately, and heart goes out to the people that have been laid off. It is a tough position to be in. I was laid off during the pandemic as well and went through that. So I know exactly how it feels to be laid off unexpectedly. As far as my thoughts on the future of Salesforce, Salesforce is still a giant in the CRM space. They're going to continue to be successful. I mean, I'm still excited to be a Salesforce admin and continue to learn the platform, 
and gain more certifications. It just sounds like from a corporate level with Salesforce, they're doing some restructuring to cut some of the money that they're bleeding right now. And and I think this is a sign of the times that are coming for other tech companies like Amazon is, is the other one that had the job layoffs this week. But there's going to be more besides those two coming in the future here. But if you like this type of video of covering some of the latest topics with Salesforce, let me know in the comments. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate the time you took to watch my video, and I'll see you in the next one.